Hello and welcome to today's tutorial on how to use the Cambridge Structured Database to research your metal saccharinate. So that's what the, the tutorial today is going to discuss, how to research the metal that was assigned to you by your TA. So let's get started with that. And so the first thing you want to do is go to my UTSA website, scroll down so you see in the library resources, find databases, and click on that. Next, scroll down under Discipline, we're going to click on Chemistry. And then <clears throat> when you get to Chemistry, you're going to click on the Cambridge Structural Database. Now, if you're off campus, you may have to log in with your ABC123 and your password. So this is the WebCSD uh, folder, excuse me, website. And what we're going to do is called a Structure Search. So let's click on Structure Search. Now this is the template you're going to use to draw your metal saccharinate uh, complex. So the first thing you want to click on is what's called a phenol ring. Let me highlight that here. So first, click this ring. That's what we're going to do. And you just click it here. Next, you're going to click on the five membered ring. So you click on this ring next, the five member ring, and you're going to drag it to just the right spot. So here, let me. So click on it. And you're going to drag it until it looks like this so with the green squares between the two lines. You're ready to click. And so you click, and now you formed your backbone of the saccharinate ring. Next, we're going to add the double bonds. So, again, what you need to do is under this icon, you're going to select the two lines, which represents a double bond. So you do the drop down, click on the double bonds, and you're going to add a double bond here, and two double bonds here. Uh, don't worry about the purple squiggly lines, that'll go away in just a second. So now what we're going to do is add oxygens to the ends of those double bonds. So you're going to come over here and click on oxygen, and at the end of those double bonds where you have the green square, you're going to add oxygen atoms. Next, we're going to click on nitrogen, and the nitrogen goes at the apex of the five member ring right here. Lastly, the atom that we're missing is sulfur. So you click on the sulfur over here, and that goes where the purple squiggly line is. Oops, made a mistake. Make sure you get the green square. There you go. You'll notice that the purple squiggly lines are gone. Finally, you want to go back to this drop down menu with the types of bonds. You want to select a single bond. And at the, each one of these corners on the phenol ring, you're going to add a single bond. So there's going to be four. And then we're going to add hydrogens to the ends of those single bonds. And this is what your saccharinate ions should look like. If it doesn't look like this, you haven't done it correctly. So it has to look like this, this here. This is the saccharinate ion. Lastly, we're going to add the metal ring. And so to add the metal ring, we're going to select element chooser, which is right here. You click on the element chooser, and then you choose your metal that was assigned to you by your TA. I'm going to do copper for this demonstration. So you click copper, and you just put it on the template. Do not connect the nitrogen to the copper. It should look exactly like this. The last thing you need to do is make sure that you're on 
substructure search, not exact search. You want to make sure that the at the bottom substructure search is selected. And then we click search. And it's going to search the database for all the uh, complexes with copper and saccharide. Let me clear my screen here. And so all you have to do is go through and find one uh, co copper complex with saccharide that you can download the article for. So I'm just going to click on one. And so as you see here, this has saccharinate in it. It's right here. This is the saccharinate. And this is copper. So you could use this structure if you wish to. So now to know if the uh, structure is available to access, you come down here and you, you see here it has a DOI link. So the, if you can download, if our library has access to these articles, you'll be able to download the PDF of this article. So before we do that, one other thing you're going to need for your report is what's called the ref code. And the ref code is the database identifier. So this database identifier is called the ref code. So again, database identifier is the ref code of your structure. You're going to need to include that in the report. And so for this compound, for this complex, the ref code is FAH MEH. Let me switch colors here. So this is the ref code for this structure. So make sure you record the ref code of your structure. Now as we scroll down, to access the article, you're going to click on the DOI link under Associated Publications. Click on that. And this article is available because it gives us the option to download PDF. So let's download the PDF. Download this article. And so in this article, there's three main sections you need to read. And those sections are the abstract. So you need to read the abstract introduction and conclusion. So those are the three main topics you should, uh, three main sections in the report you should read, abstract, introduction, and conclusion. So if we scroll down, here's the abstract that gives you a general overview of the article. So what were the key results from the, re the, the research? So again, abstract, you should read. Also the introduction. The introduction you should read too, gives you the background of why they're researching this metal saccharinate then you scroll down there's a particular picture you're going to have to include in your article so for this one it's actually referred to as an ortep or thermal ellipsoid plot and so this here this picture you would cut and paste and put into your report. So make sure you cut and paste this if you're using this complex and put it into your report in the introduction. So the whole purpose of this article is to read it, get some ideas, put that as part of your second paragraph in your introduction of your lab report. 
And then sometimes they'll include a conclusion at the end. So then read over the conclusion and tell you the key findings that they found. So that's how you research your metal saccharinate complex. Again, make sure that you include this in the introduction of your lab report. All right, until next time, goodbye.